one day I was driving home from teaching high school down in Burlington with uh, Birgit sitting uh, beside me. And uh, we, we had driven this road. It was about a 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive through beautiful rural countryside. We'd driven this road hundreds and hundreds of times back and forth uh, through the different seasons. And um, on this one particular evening, in this one particular light in early spring, spring flooding, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. And I, I slammed on my brakes physically and metaphorically. The physically is not so important. I metaphorically slammed on my brakes because of Franz Klein. I think you get it. The, 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 why this is a Franz Klein sitting right there. I'm driving right by a Franz Klein and I went, Arr! the car screeched to a halt in the middle of the road. Luckily, there's nobody coming. And I said, what did I just see? And as often happens, I had the camera on the car seat beside me. So I backed up to the right place. I could have backed up a little further or not so far, but that's the spot I selected. Didn't get out of the car or anything. Just poked the camera out the window, took one picture. In those days before digital, you, you were careful with the film and, and uh, I, I, I didn't want to be wasteful. So I took one picture. I, I think any artist worth their salt paints what's in their heart. I'm a naturalist. I've been a serious naturalist since I was 12. And with Degas, it was backstage at the ballet or at the racetrack. Uh, with Van Gogh, it was the countryside around Arles, et cetera, et cetera. I could go on with all the different artists. Vermeer, it was in Dutch interiors in the 17th century of a certain class of people. And um, so I paint what is in my heart. And that's nature and wildlife. Well, now being a naturalist, it had to be something that could be there. Uh, looking at it, I started to think about this Japanese calligraphy I was mentioning. And I'm a big fan of Japanese heritage and tradition. And I've seen a bunch of Japanese movies and read Shogun. So I'm thinking Japanese, I'm thinking samurai. Samurai often wear black armor <clears throat> and they clash the, uh, the, the male, well, are female samurai? Anyway, the, anyway, the, the, uh, the warriors clash and they fight over two things, territory and women. Usually that's what males fight over. And um, so I thought, uh, black armor, fighting over women and territory, two little samurai, red-winged blackbirds. They have black feathers, they wear their colors on their shoulders, and the males come back first, and they fight over territory.